afternoon guys. Right, today I'm going to try something with the power box. Um, Kenneth, who made the power box, has actually sent me some firmware um, which allows you to show the individual cell voltages of the Twizy. So what we're going to do is test that out. So I've got to upload the firmware first of all and what you've got to do is use like, a bit of Windows software um, which is made for the Arduino and that's it's called Xloader. So you can see it here, all you've got to do is just connect the um, power box by USB um, to the computer and then uh, hopefully hit upload uh, so it can't find it on the port this is a classic Windows problem where you don't know what um, COM port it's actually on so you have to delve into the um, uh, where is it device manager you have to delve into here and um, find out where it is so it's on COM20 so if we select COM20 down here and it's showing Arduino Mega 2 560 upload. Well, I don't know if you can see this down here, but because it's um, a virtual machine and all the resolution's a bit dodgy, but um, it basically says it's updated now. So, so we can attempt to plug this back into the car, re-plug it in, just to see if the firmware's actually changed. Yeah, 1.90. There it is. So it's done it. <coughs> yes, we got snow again, guys. Again, I can't believe it. Yeah, still need to do a, uh, a review on these Twirain windows actually, but I haven't got around to it yet. Really like this mount for this power box. It's only a Samsung, I don't even know what phone it's for, but it was recommended on uh, EV owners for them. Right, let's plug this in. Oh, I should have done that first actually. Right, let's see what's different about this then. So going to here, uh, set up info menu, battery info, could it be under there? Battery health, uh, next B, available power. Oh, 12 volt batteries on there as well. He's put the 12 volt battery um, voltage on there, which is useful. Ah, this is what you want. Look at this. Cell one, cell two, cell three. So here's all the cell voltages, guys. So first six cells. Um, the next six cells. And the next... And the next two cells as well. Look at that. Down to three decimal places as well, which is really neat. Um, right, so let's go back here. Go back. That is smart. So what I want to do is start charging, um, and then let's see what uh, what happens here. I might need to um, do the tuning again. So I'm going to do that when you change the firmware. It's a good idea to do it. So. Okay, it's actually just running through. Right in the firmware changes. Tune is completed. So turn it all off. Back on. Turn the ignition back on. Right, now I wonder if you can see this. I wonder if you can see those cell voltages whilst you're charging. Let's just turn everything off. Plug in my nice frosty charger. Alright, I think you need to I think you need to turn the charge display screen on because there's nothing showing on here. Oh, hang on a minute. No, you don't. Uh, set up menu, battery info. Whoa, that's not going to work whilst it's... Oh, no, it is. It is. To think about it for a second though, doesn't it? Battery health, 100%. Battery voltage, 54 volts. Battery temperature, 14 degrees. Well, 
did say this was um, beta firmware, so we're gonna have to, um, I think it's, it must be slow, because it's trying to communicate with the, the uh, I don't know, the BMS must be communicating as well at the same time with, uh, with the battery, so it's probably having trouble getting its message through or something, I don't know. Everything seems very, very slow to respond. <laughs> that was worrying for a second. Right, okay, so I'll just leave it on this page and then we can see what see what happens. Right, well it's just working, it is working. I think it just probably needs, you know, just refining a little bit, but everything's working there. Make that as a plane. Right, so what I'm gonna do guys, I'm just gonna leave the car to charge and then um, come back in a little while and we'll see what's, um, what's, what these voltages are saying. I'm pretty sure that the um, that this charge is up to 4.06, I think it is. Um, I don't, it looks like this might just be doing, oh no, no, it should, it should do. I thought it was doing it in 0.5. It might be rounding it on that last one to five. I've not seen anything other than a, a five or a zero. See, that one just clicked up to five there. So I've not I've not seen anything other than that. So I reckon it's rounding that that very last one. But these first two will probably show the um, the exact numbers. So we'll see what it charges up to, guys. All interesting stuff, isn't it? All right, still charging, guys. <laughs> Let's see what we're up to now. Well, this is interesting. Ninety percent and four point one two. So it's actually a lot higher than I was told. Um, I thought it was 4.06 was what it charged to, but look, 4.12, and it's still got 10% to go. So, right, a few minutes later, 96%, 4.13. And I'm being, I know I'm being over paranoid, but I was just sitting on the, um, I was just sitting on the sofa, and I was just thinking. Oh no, what if something's interfering with this now and it's like... As I was just rudely interrupted by a plane, um, they've taken off this way. They've been taking this off this way for like two weeks now. Coming up for two weeks, I don't know what's going on. It Usually it's the other way, I don't know. Anyway, yeah, I was just sitting on the sofa thinking, oh no, what if what if it's gonna do something, can I overcharge them? So I just ran out here to have a, have a look, but it's on 96% now and it's it's 4.13, everything's on 4.13 volts, so we we'll just have to see what happens when it, it's most likely it's gonna stop in a minute. Right, so charging's finished. This display is still on, which is a bit concerning. That shouldn't be still on, but um, I might have to do the key being in, but it's not turned on. Okay, so we're, we're basically 4.135 every single cell. So if we check, so let's try and check and the other cells as well. 4.13, that is a bit concerning. Why are those two at 3.88? This ain't good. All right, something weird's happened, guys. I've just turned the ignition on and those cell voltages have, have kind of changed now. So there's something really strange. Must be just a glitch in, the, uh, in, the, in this power box software because they're all showing 4.12, that pose is all right. Um, 4.12, as I was saying, there's nothing different about this five. It's either five or zero, so it obviously rounds them um, to that. There's no, so they see those two just flip onto five there. It's interesting that it's changing now. It's saying that it's charging as well, but all I've done is just turn the um, ignition key. I still need to work out how this works, but. 4.125, 4.12, Interesting stuff though. It's gone back to the main screen now and it's saying five amps is going in. So we're obviously right at the end of the charge. I don't know why it had stopped before, but um, interesting. Motor 49 degrees, that, shouldn't, that doesn't seem right either. Oh, it's lovely and warm in here. 14 degrees in it, it's 14 degrees. Three and a half degree, well, minus three outside actually, that's a minus. Properly cold outside, but it felt so warm when I just walked in. And it's only this little 500 watt heater, and that's not running off the system, it's not running off the power at the moment, because that's obviously just gonna, you know, kill the, kill the pack really quickly. That's the next challenge, to actually get this to be able to run off there, but I can't, 
I haven't got enough panels to, to keep that running. It's right if I'm, I'm in here for like an hour or something, I can probably get away with it because it doesn't draw continuously 500 watts. Um, but yeah, it's interesting about that power box firmware though. Um, yeah, I just, I, I wanted to see the cell voltages, just start having a look at that because I've been talking about the Twizy battery. Um, don't worry guys, I haven't forgot about this. Um, it might seem like I've gone quiet on that whole thing, on that whole idea, but I'm definitely getting closer to looking at it. Um, been talking to um, Jimmy from Insat about this, about the battery and how how we can get around it. Um, Kenneth obviously knows a lot about the um, the BMS side of things, so together I think something's going to happen, but I'm not sure when. I don't know exactly when, but we're looking at cells. Um, the good thing about Insat is they've got really good connections in with, with China and the cell manufacturers so it might be possible to actually get like a custom cell made um, still looking at you know capacities and everything else but to make it worthwhile it needs to be at least double the capacity um, that so it'd be like a 12 kilowatt or something upwards really um, kilowatt hour pack so yeah I'll keep you posted on that anyway um, what what happens what transpires with that Meanwhile, as usual, with all these things, I've been looking on how to improve this system. Um, and yeah, that should be quite interesting as well. So there's more videos to come on that. And the e-bike as well, you've seen like the, the, one of the last videos, um, that's kind of running. Still haven't got the battery back from that, but resolved most of the problems with that as well. So that's that's okay. Anyway, guys, hope you've enjoyed this, um, this little one. Um, and I'll catch you in the next video. All right, just a quick one before I go in. 4.13 is finished up at 100% each cell is 4.13 so there you go